To ensure that all data collected by your Google Analytics account is valid, it's crucial to configure spam filters for certain views in your GA account. Flowwhale recommends three views for every GA property. An unfiltered view, a test view, and a master view. The unfiltered view serves as a backup. The test view is for troubleshooting new configurations, and your master view is for everyday data analysis. We recommend setting up spam filters in test view first and copy pasting those configurations into your master view after testing. Spam could be classified in three ways, crawler spam, fake language spam, and ghost spam. We could copy paste filters to block crawler and fake language spam, but custom configurations must be made to remove ghost spam. Ghost spam never actually crawls your site. Instead, it sends fake data directly to the GA server. But ghost spam isn't totally undetectable. It appears as fake host names in your GA account. The simplest way to block this spam is by using a custom hostname filter to tell GA which host names belong in the account and which ones don't. You could think of this filter as a hostname guest list, keeping out unwanted guests. So our first step in determining our guests is navigating to audience, and then technology, network, and then within network we choose host names, which is here. And we want to make sure that we're setting a large enough date range to capture all those spammy host names that may still be potentially interacting with our GAA account. And then we create a guest list by identifying all the valid host names we recognize in this list. These can include your main domain and any subdomains, video services like YouTube, payment services like PayPal, or shopping carts like Shopify, CDNs, translation services, cash services, or familiar IP addresses. If you don't recognize or control a host name, odds are it should not be included on your list. Potential spam host names include URLs pointing to spammy websites, links to known sites you can't control like Fox News and Apple.com, and all host names under not set. You can verify spam by checking for high bounce rates. Most should have rates near 99%. Now to write your guest list. Create a regular expression separating each host name with a pipe character and adding a backslash before all periods and hyphens. Your regex has a limit of 255 characters, so combine host names when you can. Don't leave any spaces and don't add a pipe at the beginning or at the end of your expression, for this will block out all traffic. This is what our regex looks like. You could test this filter by creating a GA segment with source matching your regex. Apply this to your reports to check that the configuration will not cause data loss. So the final step is actually creating the filter, and we do that by going to admin, and then choosing the view where we want to implement the hosting filter. And we recommend troubleshooting on a test view first, but I'll show you the one we've already configured on our master view here. To create it, you go to filters and you choose add filter. Um, and once you're done, it is displayed in this list here. Ours is valid host names. And the configuration is a custom filter type. You include host names and then copy paste your regex here. And you have the chance to verify your filter below and it will display all of the host names that are excluded as a result of your filter. And once you're pleased with that configuration, all that's left to do is to choose save and you're done.